to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a tutorial on this look that you see right here. It's very fun, flirty Valentine's Day look with some glitter. If you guys are curious on how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys all very soon. Let's get started. I'm going to be prepping my lid with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I am with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette using Tempra to set my lid so everything blends smoothly. Now I'm going to start using the shade Brown Fresco in my crease to go ahead and build that color up. I'm going to kind of speed this process up just because I do blend for a long time just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Next I'm applying the Urban Decay Makeup Bondage Adhesive so that the glitter is going to stick onto the lid. Now for the fun part, the glitter. The glitter I'm actually using is from Amazon. I picked up a package bundle where you got about, I think there was about 40 in there and I believe I only paid about $4 for it, so definitely a great deal. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. We're just gonna pack this all over the lid. Now I'm just gonna go over that with the shade Love Letter, just to kind of bring the pinks together and give a little bit more definition to the glitter itself. Going back in with my Sigma E25, we're going to pick back up the Blonde Fresco and just blend out a little bit and make sure that everything is blended well together. Now for my inner corner, I'm going to pick up ColourPop's Bubbly and just pack that on to the inner corner and bring it a little way into the lid. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is the travel size. I really just love this mascara. It adds length and volume to your lashes without making them clumpy, which is always nice. So I'm just applying a thin layer of this before we apply our falsies. Went ahead and did my lashes off camera. I used the Lashfully Yours in the style Marilyn. Now we are going to be applying our primer. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. We're gonna just focus that on our T-zone area and where I have the most texture in my skin. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics Absolute Cover Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade number three, and I'm just going to be using a damp beauty blender to blend this in. I'm going to speed up this process so we don't sit here forever because I do like to work my foundation into my skin. Now that we're all finished with foundation, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Light. We're going to be using this to highlight my face in all of the high points. And then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Going to be setting my face using the Wet n Wild Cover Up Pressed Powder. I'm in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just going to dust this all over my face just to set everything that we place. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. We're just going to be putting this here on my cheekbones, a little bit on the lower jaw, and then we're going to just dust it on our forehead just to give a little bit of color back to our skin. Using my Max Fix Plus on my Morphe M310, I am going to be highlighting these cheekbones. We are using the Laura Geller 
Illuminator in the shade Peach Glow. I swear I could apply highlighter to my face all day long. It is by far my favorite part of applying makeup. It just adds so much to the look and just, oh, it's amazing. Hit that Cupid's bow one time. Mm-hmm. And the nose. Now for blush, I'm going to be using a Real Techniques Steepling brush, and we're just gonna be going into Max Rosy Outlook and just applying a little bit of this to the cheeks just to add a little bit of color. Next, we're going to be going back into Love Letter from the Anastasia palette and just popping that on the lower lash line just to give a little bit more definition. And now we're just going to be applying some mascara to the lower lashes. To finish this look off, we are going to be applying Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Arius. I love the formula of these liquid lips, you guys. They are by far my favorite formula. You guys need to check them out if you have All right, just going to give myself a little spritz with the Mario Podoscu rose water. That is going to finish off this look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll have all the details on everything I use linked down below. See you guys next time.